Hey everybody, this is Dave and today we're going to talk about how to control your TV's volume and power uh, with the CEC HDMI control. It'll even control your TV's volume. So there's, this is the only remote you need. It'll even turn the TV on or your AV receiver on and switch the inputs via CEC. The new Apple TV 4 has this ability as long as you use the right HDMI cables. And we're going to talk about that. And we're also going to talk about how to set it up on your TV because different TV brands have different TV, uh, you know, different names for the CEC control. And we're just going to go over that uh, briefly and I'm going to give you a demo right now what it does. So here I have the Siri remote. My TV is powered off. I have it enabled on my TV and I have it enabled in settings in my Apple TV and I'll show you that in a second but if I press any button and wake up the the uh, Apple TV it will automatically power on my TV and switch to the right input of where my Apple TV is connected in the back HDMI and power up your Apple TV now if you're end of the night and you're sitting on the couch and you want to go to sleep you press and hold the button on the right and it says sleep and you use your touchpad hit sleep and automatically it will power off the TV and the Apple TV it will go in sleep mode and uh, that's a great feature Apple introduced this when they were introducing the Apple TV and uh, I'm gonna show you how to get it to work now in the settings of the Apple TV you have to go over there's two things you need to do to get this to work we go into settings and there's two things you want to do. You want to go over to remotes and devices. You want to click remotes and devices and you want to set it up to control TV and receivers. So you want to make sure that that's on and you also want a, a volume control. Um, you can set it up through the IR, which the Apple TV is a Bluetooth remote, but it also has an IR uh, transmitter on the top. So you can, uh, do it by transmitter you could do it by uh, the TV via IR and a whole bunch of other options that you can do now you can also learn a new device that's something you need to do and if you get the old remote and you pretty much hold it close to the uh, other you know the Siri remote if you hit the the volume up then it tells you to hit the volume down and voila it it, it you can name it to wherever you want and Go down to done, and you can you know name it whatever you want, and it's set up as complete. Now, this uh, Siri remote remembered the volume up and volume down, and it will emulate that with its IR receiver. So now, uh, on the TV, we have to do something. I'm going to show you that right now. Now, different TVs have different names for this HDMI CEC. Now, first things first, you have the have the right cable. You have to have a cable that is at least the 1.2a version. It goes all the way up to 2.0. I have a website that I'm going to put a link to so that you can see the differences between the different HDMI cables that you can buy. And I'm going to have a, a website that's going to tell you uh, what they call it on any particular TV. Like Vizio actually calls it HDMI CEC. But there are other uh, brands of TVs that have different names for them. So what you want to do on your remote is you pretty much want to hit like the menu button. And you're going to see this little thing slide up pretty much on a Vizio TV. Uh, you go into system and you go into CEC. It's down. It's right there on the left. And you hit CEC and you turn it on and it's probably off by default. And then you say system audio control on. And then you can also do device discovery. If your Apple TV is powered on, it will actually find your Apple TV and know that uh, the Apple TV is capable of doing the CEC control. So it's found the Apple TV and it actually found the Roku. Uh, the, the Roku sticks, they actually don't have any. They have an HDMI that connects your TV, but it's really not a true HDMI. And I'll explain that in a different video. So now that you have it all set, you can come out of the menu. And now you have enabled 
CEC on your Apple TV settings as well as your TV settings. You have to turn it on uh, on your TV as well. So now we can control the volume of our TV. You see it there because the IR is shooting over to the receiver. Uh, we're transmitting the IR signal and you can also press and hold uh, the button on the right here, the home button I think it's called, and you hit sleep and it will automatically shut the TV off and go to sleep. Okay, now that you have it set up for your Apple TV to talk to your TV and vice versa, you can also airplay uh, your Mac screen to your Apple TV even when it's off. So we just go up to the airplay icon and we hit Apple TV and it'll automatically power up your Apple TV and turn on the display. Takes a second. This way you don't have to get up and turn your TV on and put it to the right input. It'll automatically do it. And it'll also transfer the audio to your TV as well. So now uh, it should automatically, and if it, if it does, and we could just hit here, Apple TV again, and it will mirror right to your Apple TV. There it is. So it has uh, different screens. This is an extended display, but you can also, uh, you know, and drag folders over to that other display, uh, or you can select mirror, built-in mirror, and it'll mirror your screen. So you don't have to get up, you don't have to turn the TV on, you don't have to change the input, you don't have to switch over uh, the output of your audio to your TV, it'll automatically do that. It's a little underscaled for this TV, but there's some preferences and settings that you can adjust the size of the screen. Now, the other bonus uh, additional material, uh, in the back of the uh, the Apple TV has a USB-C uh, uh, port, but um, I wanted to let everybody know that it's just for data and diagnostics and um, to restore your Apple TV uh, with iTunes. Uh, I tried by connecting one of these adapters here. It's a USB-C to a female USB, and I tried to put my lightning cable in there to try to get it to charge the remote. Uh, that has a lightning connection or even my iPhone to charge that and it doesn't work. There's no power output from that USB-C in the back. It's just data transfer. So I, I just wanted to add that in. I didn't want to have to make a separate video about that. So I'll leave those two links in the description. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I had a friend who had trouble with it and he called me and I did some research and I'm going to give that research to you in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.